Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Fitness for Freedom. Today we are doing a full body workout with power blocks. You don't have to use power blocks, you can use any kind of dumbbells. What's important is that they're quickly accessible or you can change the weight on them very rapidly. So if you're ready to do a full body workout, let's get to it. All right, so we're going to start with a goblet squat. So when you're figuring out what weight to use, you really have to use trial and error to find out what works best for you. So to start, goblet squat, take a dumbbell, you're going to hold it either like this or like this, which is how I like to hold the power blocks. Okay, you're going to push your bum back, keep the weight in your heels, maybe take a slightly wider stance than you normally would for a regular body weight squat. You're going to go down for one. Big exhale on the way up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15, good. Okay, so now we're gonna go to side plank, or sorry, side line leg circles. Okay, so you don't need the dumbbells for this one. Bottom leg forward, knee bent, toe point towards your chin, the floor, one. Just warming up, two, try not to let your hips roll around, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, should feel the outside of your hip burning a little bit, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so now quickly we're gonna roll over to the other side. Okay, the exact same exercise. Toe pointed towards your chin and the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, be fancy here, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. So you're going to adjust the dumbbells, probably lighter. Most people need between five and 15 pounds for this exercise to do it properly. It's a bent arm shoulder blade squeeze, okay? So knees bent just a little bit, shoulder blades down and back, palms up, okay? Just like you're a Kung Fu fighter. And you're going to come up, one, shoulder blades down and back, two, big squeeze, three, squeeze your elbows together as you come up, four, don't let them flare out, Five, really focus on your shoulder blades. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15, that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna go down, take a quick break. And we're gonna get into the actual workout portion of this exercise, starting with split squats. Okay, so with a split squat, just to get ready to roll, you're probably going to want between 10 and 25 pounds, depending on your current level. Again, trial and error works best, so just do your best guess. All right, so now we're going to get ready to do the split squat. Now, before I pick these dumbbells up off the floor, I wanna show you something very important. Okay, when you're picking dumbbells up off the floor, you should push your bum back and keep the weight right in your heels like we're doing a good hip hinge, okay? So hopefully you've watched our hip hinge video and that is how you're going to pick the dumbbells up off the floor. Okay, so now start, split squat. Chest out, shoulder blades down and back. Okay, the exact same way as we do a split squat without weight, except now you get to hold it. Okay, one, two, big exhale every time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's good. So we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, comfortable stance, weight in the heel of your front foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, Make sure your toes are pointed forward. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
Feel that burn through your legs. 13, 14, last one, 15, that's good. So you can keep the weight the same. We're going to go down for negative push-ups. So negative push-ups just means you're going slow on the way down. You don't need to use the dumbbells for these, but I like to use the dumbbells because I think it makes it a better exercise. So you're going to go down as slow as you can. Slow, 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 and then kneeling push-up on the way up. And then slow, 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 kneeling push-up on the way up. Okay, we're gonna repeat these. Nice and slow, slow as you can, all the way down. Three, slow, slow, slow. Four, slow, slow, slow. Five, okay, we're probably only gonna do 10 of these. I find most people find them challenging enough that 10 is a good, a good number to stop at. Seven, I think that was seven. Okay, get verification on that. No, no verification. Eight, okay, thank you. And down, slow, slow. Nine, okay, last one. Slow all the way down, slow, slow. Ten, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go to the side plank. So again, we don't need the dumbbells for this one, so we're gonna rack them, okay, very quickly. Okay, so just like we've done in other exercise videos, elbow directly beneath your shoulder, stay as flat as you can, and we're going up to hold. Okay, if this is too hard, you can go down and hold it from your knees, or go even up and down from your knees. Okay, so it's whatever's comfortable for you. You should feel it right along your side. Okay, if it bothers your shoulder too much, that's okay. Go back to an easier progression for now, until your shoulder strength catches up to the rest of your body strength. Okay. We are coming up to 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna try to hold it for 45. Stay solid as best you can. Stay nice and solid. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, time. That's good, now we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, exact same exercise. All right. One, two, three, pop up. Stay solid, stay flat. Keep breathing. Stay looking forward as best you can. Stay solid as you can. Okay, there's 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Stay solid and flat. 30 seconds. Focus on your breathing as best you can. Stay solid. Five, four, three, two, time. That's good. Okay, so now we're gonna go to RDLs. Okay, for this first round, veer on the side of lighter weight, so probably more like 15 pounds, just to make sure that you can do the movement properly. Okay, most people have trouble doing this movement properly and they try to bend their back too much. So chest out, shoulder blades down and back, push your bum back, stay as flat as you can and go as low as you can. And you should feel a good strong pull through the backs of your legs. This is a hip hinge. Okay, we call them Romanian deadlifts. Four, five, bum way back as far as you can. Six, if you feel it in your lower back, Seven, you're letting your back roll too much. Eight, nine, 10, bum way back as far as you can. 11, try not to bend your knees too, too much. 12, try to keep them a little bit straight. 13, and that'll help you feel the pull more in the backs of your legs. 14, 15, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go to a single arm shoulder press. Okay, so I want you to do this one standing, okay? If you need a new weight, get a new weight. For most people, they'll be between 15, probably 15 and 20 pounds or 10 and 20 pounds. Okay, so knees bent, bum back, and you're going straight up, one. 
Okay, get your elbow almost to lock out. Two, at the top. Three, pretty close to the ceiling here. Four, five, just bend my knees a little bit more, I guess. Six, seven, try not to let your body twist every time you push it up. Eight, nine, okay, we're just gonna do 12 of these. 10, if it bothers your shoulder, 11, go for a neutral grip. 12, so that means with your elbow, sorry, your palm facing inward, okay? That'll take some pressure off your shoulder. It's a more natural movement, especially if your shoulders are a bit anteriorly rotated or rounded forward, okay? One, the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, 12. Okay, so now we're gonna take a quick break. And then we're going to do that set again. Take note of your weights so you know roughly where you need to go back to to make sure you're doing the right weight so you can't do any more at the end of each set of exercises. All right, so we're gonna get right back into the split squat again. Hope you had a good break, good drink of water. And one, big push through your heel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you can't get to 15, eight, nine, you should probably consider dropping the weight. 10, especially if it's under 10 repetitions. 12, 13, 14, 15. Assuming you're a relative beginner, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so now we're going down for negative push ups. Okay, so just like last time, if this is too hard for you to do from your feet, that is okay. Just do all of it from your knees, okay? Slow, 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 and explode up one. Slow, 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 two. Slow, 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 three. Okay, nice and slow, slow. Slow, slow, four, slow, 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 five, okay, slow, 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 six, slow, 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 seven, okay, two more, I mean three more, slow, 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 eight, two more, slow, Slow. Nine, it's probably burning a lot. I hope so. Last one, and explode up. 10, good. Okay, so now we're gonna go to side plank. Okay, so just like last time, we're gonna go for about 45 seconds. One, two, three, pop. Okay, elbow directly beneath your shoulder. Okay, stay as solid as you can without twisting or turning. Feel it right in your side. Okay, try not to wiggle or move. Your calf should be off the floor. Okay, so check that. If you can't do this with your calf up off the floor, okay, so that's the bottom of your leg by your ankle, then you need to be doing this from your knees because this is too hard of a progression right now. Okay, so squeeze your glutes. Well, you can squeeze your glute, that part's optional, but sometimes it helps you keep the rest of your body stable. 35 seconds. Keep breathing, keep holding. We're almost there. Four, three, two, time. That's good, that might've been an extra second. Give yourself a pat on the back for that extra second. Okay, and we're going up again, and again, boom. Okay, so nice and solid. All the same principles. Oops, shoulder directly beneath your 
elbow directly beneath your shoulder and nice and solid. I want you to focus on your breathing this time. And I'll make it easier for you to stay focused and do a few extra seconds. Actually, sometimes if you're mad and you tell a story to someone else that makes you mad, that'll help you hold it for a bit longer. I had a client the other day hold a wall, a wall sit for a minute and 15 seconds, 30 seconds longer than her previous personal best because she was pissed at someone from work. Time, that's good. So that's something to consider. We're thinking about being motivated to exercise and push yourself a bit harder. Okay, RDLs, shoulder blades down and back, bum back as you go down. One, legs pretty straight. Two, should feel in the backs of your legs. Three, four, five, didn't get low enough on that one. Six, seven, bum way back. Eight, nine, 10, 11, let's go for 15 this time, if you can. 12, 13, bum way back as far as you can. 14, last one, 15. Okay, that's good. So now we're going to go to the single arm shoulder press. Okay, knees bent, bum back. Hopefully you have lots of ceiling room. And don't let your hips twist or turn when you go up. One. Two, three, big exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Good, so we're gonna switch sides now. Okay. One, two, three, four. Big exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last one, twelve. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna get to that set one more time. Let's get started on this last set. <laughs> okay. Split squats, chest out, shoulder blades down and back. Hopefully by now you should know what weight that you wanna to use to get between 12 and 15 repetitions. Okay, because you shouldn't be able to do any more by the time you're done the set. Okay. One, big exhale on the way up. Two, what I mean by that, three is that when you get to 15, Four, you should not be able to do 16. Five, that's how much weight you should have. Six, seven, if you really wanna change your leg muscles. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, let's go to the other side. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push right through your heel. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Last one, 15. Okay, so now we're gonna go right into negative push ups again. Okay, so again, like last time. You have to go on your knees the whole time. That is okay. Okay, nice and slow on the way down. Slow, 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 slow. One. Slow, slow, slow. Two. Back down. Three. Nice and slow, 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 slow. Four. I think I'm getting a little bit fast. I gotta slow down. Focus on the slow. Five, nice and slow. Six, nice and slow. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's good. So now we're going into side plank. Okay, let's put these out of the way. Okay, elbow directly beneath your shoulder. Okay, set my watch here and we're gonna go. Okay, flat as you can. If you could do the first two rounds on your feet, but you couldn't get to 45 seconds, then you should probably try this one from your knees or do it as long as you can from your feet. And when you can't do any more, switch to your knees to get the full 45 seconds in, okay? If you really wanna change your muscles, you have to push as hard as you can so you're maximally fatigued at the end of the workout. So you can't or have a lot of trouble physically doing the same amount of weight again. So just stay as solid as you can. We're at 35 seconds or more than that. We're at 40 seconds. Four, three, two, time. That's good. Go to the other side, same exercise. Okay, so we're gonna hold it again. Boom, right up. 45 seconds. All the same principles still apply. Flat as you can, hopefully you feel it a lot in your side still. If you don't feel it in your side, push through your feet and push your hips up as high as you can. Okay, you can't push, it's very hard to push out of neutral spine if you're going up in this one. Okay, very few people can actually keep their hips above parallel. So don't worry about pushing your hips up too high for this one. Might be the only one where you can do that. Stay solid, we're at 35 seconds. Stay, stay solid. Four, three, two, time. That's good. Okay, so now we're going into the RDL again. Okay, you might need a little bit more weight or less weight for near the end. Chest out, shoulder blades down and back. Bum back as far as you can. One, way back as far as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, that's good. So we're gonna put one of these down, single leg RDL down, and we're gonna go, go we're gonna start with my left arm this time. Okay, knees bent, bum back, and one, two, all the way up straight, three, no twisting, four, keep the rest of your body square, Five, you might find squeezing your glutes helps. Six, get all the way up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. Eleven, twelve, that's good. Okay, on the other side, last one. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last one, big push. Twelve. All right. So that's it for the workout. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the box below. If you have any feedback for us, please let us know. If you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more videos just like it or more informative videos and not just follow along videos, hit the subscribe button because we have tons of useful information coming out of here every day, almost every day, definitely every week. This has been Jonathan from Fitness for Freedom. Take care and we'll talk to you next time.